Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, I'm going to be trying to make a fairly quick and informative video. Um, I don't like my videos to be too long, um, but this is going to be how to build a APK using Unity. Uh, this does work on Unity 2018, 2017, and I think maybe even Unity 5. Um, just JDKs and SDKs and Unity, they're all changing all the time. So it just seems like every other version, there's some hiccup. Um, so this works 90% of the time. Uh, it looks like there's an issue with the JDKs, uh, like the newer versions not working. Um, so what you're going to want to do is head over to the download archive. That's what I like because it's got all the build versions. You can select whatever version you want and make sure you get the Unity installer for your perspective versions. Um, I'm actually going to go and pretend as if I just downloaded it. Um, going to click through next, uh, sell your soul. And the big thing that you want is this Android build support button. You want to make sure it's checked and just click next, run through it, you know, like normal. Um, keep in mind, if you do have two different versions of Unity, I like to make a Unity folder and then just name make another folder and name it whatever the version is. So like, for example, 2017.1, blah, blah, blah. Um, cool. So while that would be downloading, uh, I'll have this link in the description as well. This is the Java archives. Um, looks like the JDK 10 and 8.1.6.2 don't really work with Unity. They're, I don't know why. Um, but you're going to want to get uh, the JDK 8161. Uh, go ahead, click to accept. I had to create an account with Oracle, which is kind of weird, but go ahead, create an account. Um, and then you're going to want to download, you know, whatever JDK is appropriate for your build version. This is the one I use for Windows. Um, going to go ahead, install it like normal and you want to keep in mind where you install it to. So if you're going to install it to like a different drive or something like that, just keep that in mind because that does come into play later. Last but not least, uh, used to be you could just download the sources and tools folder for Android. Uh, that doesn't seem to work anymore, which is unfortunate. So just download all of Android Studio. You know, it's not that big of a file really. Um, so you should be fine in that department too. Um, however, let me bring it up because we're going to need that. All right. So once you've installed it, um, you can install it to wherever you want. Um, you'll bring up this window and you'll want to go to SDK Manager. And this is the important line up here. Um, by default, as of recording of this video, 8.1 is the latest. Um, make sure you know, uh, if you're not sure what version of Android you're on, on your phone, you can just Google how to look that up. Um, I like to use Marshmallow, just a personal preference type thing, but this is in the important line right here. So we're gonna go ahead, open up Unity. Um, if you already have Unity installed and when you go to file, or I'm getting kind of ahead of myself. For now, this is a new project. We're just going to go to file, build settings. Um, and if you do already have Unity installed and this is blank, hopefully you still have the Unity, uh, what is it, editor in your downloads folder. If not, your build version is up here. You're just going to want to re-download re that again and click that Android checkbox. Um, by default, you should be on PC. You're just gonna click Android and switch platforms, and this shouldn't be blank. This should all have this kind of fun stuff right here. Um, while we're in this window, let's go ahead and click the player settings, and you're gonna wanna scroll down to identification. Now, by default, this is gonna be com. I think it's company. Uh, product name. Uh, you don't want that. That's like the default one. You won't be able to build. If you try to build, you get an error. Um, so make it, you know, descriptive. Um, I did a bad name here, uh, but you know, if I was making, I don't know, whatever your studio name is, um, or your team name is your group project name, just put it there. And then, you know, your game name, like angry birds or something like that. 
Um, and then minimum API level, this is dependent on what you have installed uh, and what you have installed on your phone. Like I said, Marshmallow is just kind of my jam. Um, by default, this will also be on automatic. Uh, keep in mind, if you do leave it on automatic, it will go to Oreo. So I just like to make these uh, match. Um, so yeah, that looks good on that end. Now you may think, oh, I can just click build and you'd be wrong, unfortunately. We're gonna have to go to edit and then preferences and external tools. And these are the two super important lines right here. Uh, these buttons, they're out of date. They take you to the wrong links, which is unfortunate. But this one is the SDK, uh, the Android SDK. Just copy and paste that line right there. Uh, pretty easy. Uh, if you go ahead and click browse, this is what your folder should look like. And now for the JDK, it, again, it's to wherever you installed it. Uh, if you're just using like the default stuff, it should be uh, program files 86 Java, and then there is your version of the JDK. Uh, so go ahead, click that. You can, you know, uh, copy that right there and paste that sucker in. And that's what the folder should look like. All right. And now you're all set up, we can exit this, go to file, build settings again, click build. Uh, I've already just made some like test APKs. I'm just gonna go ahead and I just save it on my desktop. Uh, that's the easiest. You won't get that replace window um, unless you're you know, making a different build. You can just save over on top of each other. And that's it. You have successfully built an APK. The next step for you is to put it on your phone. There's a bunch of different ways you can do that. You can hook your phone up to your computer via USB, put your phone into debug mode um, and do it that way. Personally, I just like to put my APK onto my Google Drive and then just download it onto my phone because um, I don't always have a cable available. So yeah, once you do that, um, if you do need help, uh, you will have to put your phone into debug mode because it is an APK that is not from the Google Play Store. Um, so Google is always your friend. Again, if you need to put your phone into debug mode, it's pretty simple. It's somewhere in the settings and you just tap on something like seven times. And then yeah, you will be able to share your APK with friends, family, whoever you want. And yeah. That's the way it works for now. And it's six months to a year could change. Definitely seems to be a problem with the JDK. But anyway, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you all later.